And keeping our focus on epidemiology, we're also talking with Dr. Juliana Chan, the Kelly West Award winner for Outstanding Achievement in Epidemiology. Dr. Chan, congratulations Thank on you your much. award. Thank you so you much. You established the Hong Kong Diabetes Register. What is that? Well, you know, a register is designed to uh, monitor trends, mm -hmm. um, identify care gaps, and also to plan for treatment and also prevention. Okay. And this is particularly true for diabetes because of the silent, progressive nature uh, of its risk factors and also complications, which are all numerical. So if you do not measure, you cannot manage. And, um, and you also need to use this uh, data, personalized data, to empower and engage the individuals. And what impact has this register had on uh, biogenic markers? Yeah, so diabetes is very complex, right? It's just due to both modifiable and non-modifiable risk factors. And it could sort of um, have uh, really very different trajectories and outcomes. Um, and so, um, when we set up the complication screening session, we also ask the patients to donate their DNAs and also bound samples to help us understand right, wow. the causes of diabetes. Um, and um, because we need both the clinical data and also genetic data to understand that complexity, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so over the years, there was um, increasing understanding of the genetics. There were advancement in technologies, the sequencing, the SNP arrays and now even multi-only. So because we can also link up this data to outcome data, right, such as hospitalizations and also death, so it become a very powerful tool for us to understand, you know, how genetic and also modifiable risk factors in influencing outcome. And therefore we can use it to stratify risk and to also personalize care and try to sometimes even discover, you know, novel disease pathway companion diagnostic and also targeted pathway. What do you hope this uh, research and the register will mean when it comes to the future of not only treatment and care, but prevention of diabetes, specifically within the Asian community? Yes, I think from these registers we've learned a lot, you know, about some of the subtle differences between the West and the East. Mm -hmm. So for example, I think it is quite clear now in um, Asian people uh, we get diabetes uh, even when we are quite lean because mm -hmm. we have quite a lot of visceral obesity. Uh, the genetic component is very strong and that there is also differences between the East and the West in terms mm -hmm. of the genetic loci, etc. Um, and so, you know, we, um, so we need this kind of data, particularly in the global South, so to speak, okay. uh, in order to really understand you know, how we are going to manage these patients more effectively uh, and also to identify what are some of the genetic predisposition that put people you know, at risk for having diabetes. So ultimately, we really want to identify those 20-30% of people who might have a biological vulnerability okay. and focus our efforts in trying to improve the modifiable risk factors and prevent diabetes. Huge step forward in prevention, yes, absolutely. Right, yeah. Well, your research is absolutely incredible. Congratulations on your award and thank you for your time today. Thank you once again, you know, for inviting me. Thank you.